Hi traders, this is Trader A. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to pop in really quickly and give you guys some insight on things I saw in the chart today. I was able to take a few trades and I'll just get right into it. So this chart here is of the ES and I have rolled over to the June 23rd, I'm sorry, June 2023 contract. So this is about, let's just say, so this is after three o'clock. This is after three o'clock, about 3.30, we have price crossing over upwards and above our five minute red line, which is the five minute 21 simple moving average. We do hit a new pivot high at 3.38. So it looks like our last pivot high was back at 2.49. So it's about an hour. It's about an hour and that was slightly higher however from that time we kind of had you know a downward trend the market woke up and you know we had this cross over the red five minute line so i felt that enough time had passed where i felt that this this was a new pivot high for purposes of taking a trade since we were just about at an hour so we have the new pivot high and we do have a smooth pullback into the one minute goal line. And I believe I did enter the trade right at the break of that. And I'll get my risk reward tool. So entering at the break of entering at the break of that candle with a 10 tick risk and a 20 tick reward. So that was a pretty um, nice trade there. That was a pretty nice trade. So um, we did get that one. Okay, and then I believe this may have been the next one here that I took. The second touch of the goal line. So this was number one, touch number one. Let's just put a number one here. Number one. So that one was number one. And so then we had another one here. Oh yeah, here it is right here. All the way nudged through the goal line just a few minutes later. So that one was at two, no, I'm sorry, 347. 347 Eastern Standard Time. It was here. So that one was another easy 20 points. I mean, honestly, it wasn't that easy considering this red bar here. So we did have to endure some retracement right around here. So I did have that retracement. So that was a little bit hard. It did not go straight up, but I did not move my stop or anything. I don't think until the very end of the trade, I just kind of left it alone. Of course, it was the end of the day. And honestly, I just really didn't have the mental capacity to manage it the way I probably should have. So I just left it alone. So again, that was touch number two. So I'll just put that around here.
All right, so that was touch number two. That went for 20 ticks. I think I may have gotten a little bit more than 20 ticks on that one. I held a little bit because the exit was on this big bar right here. And I think I exited there. So that was 20 ticks and I exited here. So I got a little bit more on that one. Of course, that'll be something I can work on going forward is trying to get more off of these trades. So then here was touch number three. And actually touch number three was at 355, I believe. So I did not take that one. I'd already left the platform, but this trade went into the close. Well, did it go into the close? Yeah, pretty much. But this one here went 72 ticks. So that was your number three right at the close. So that was pretty interesting. ES was um ES was pretty good today. What can I say? So those are three trades right at the right at the the end of the day that were um pretty profitable. So I don't know. Hopefully some of you all got those trades. I was happy to get two of them. Like I said, I got the 20 ticks on the first one. That was $250 for my one contract on one of my evaluations. And I ended up getting 300 on the second try, the second test of this one minute gold line on another evaluation. And I did not get the third because I was gone. So I hope you all got some good trades as well. I do have a trade of the day for you that I did capture. So if you're inclined to stay tuned and see that live replay, please do so. And if you're interested in joining us for our Hangout Discord, the um, Diary of Futures Day Trader Hangout, please check the description box for the Discord invitation. Please, um, if you happen to need a new evaluation for your Apex challenge, just um, also that information for my discount code is down below. I have a couple of indicators that are down below. And of course, please comment with your questions or comments down below. Again, I always tell you guys, I am attempting to do these trades. So I may not do them perfectly. So just take that with a grain of salt. But thank you for joining me on this journey. And do please tell me about your journeys as well in the comments and in the Discord. I look forward to hanging out and speaking with you all. And stay tuned for the video replay. Thanks for watching. Hi traders, I am back. Here's the trade of the day that I recorded for you all. You can see I am putting in my order for this five minute gold line trade. So it looks like we have our first touch of the gold line at 1234 Eastern Standard Time. So um, we did have a new pivot low back at 12.25. We don't have to have a smooth pullback for this five minute goal line trade. So it does go up and it looks like the first actual touch is at 12.35 Eastern Standard Time. But then the bars kind of just continue to ride the line a little bit. So I don't get into the trade right away these bars pretty much have to um 
continue to continue to print before so we go up 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 and notice even though we're going up never do never does the price go above completely above and over the five minute goal line had it done that that would have invalidated the trade so even though we continue to go higher the trade is still valid so far i have my sale order set and i like this trade because the five minute goal line is below the five minute red line so and the five minute the one minute goal line is even below the five minute goal line so the moving averages are looking really nice And sometimes it's just a waiting game, right? So basically I had to wait to see if this trade was going to trigger because it's not until the 11, maybe the, I'm sorry, 1240 Eastern Standard Time bar that the trade may have triggered. Yes, I believe so, because it just kind of based along the same area, and then it finally would have triggered at that point. I'm not sure if I took it. I can't really tell from from looking at it, but I can't tell if, if I got in on the 1240 bar or the 1241 bar. So, but anyhow, it did trigger. It was never invalidated because price never completely um, opened above that five minute goal line. So we're in the trade. And for the most part, I think I just let this one ride. It didn't take too long. I don't think there was too much pain on this one. I can't remember. And um whether I had to endure too much pain for this one or not. But let's just look and see. I'm almost there. I think it did retrace a few times before it got to the 20 tick target. What do you all do when you're in the trade? Do you try to look away? Do you leave the room? Do you manage it? Bring it to break even? Let me know what you do. So yes, I think I did have some retracement there. We have that green bar forming, which obviously is never a good feeling, but this is when you have to take those deep breaths, calm down, look away again. I'm almost there, almost to the target. And it just kind of keeps on going back and forth on me. Oh no, this is when I say no pain, no gain. All right, now I can relax.